The mission is the same for all of us, wherever we are and with whatever talents we have been given to shine the light. And can it be frightening? Of course it is. Rejection, isolation, persecution, you name it, we may face it. But the world wasn't exactly a safe place for Christ and his followers throughout the New Testament either. They were constantly on the run, and most, including Christ himself, were eventually put to death. But we cannot allow that fear to cause us to bury our talent in the dirt. One day, each of us will stand before the Lord and give a reckoning for the dozens, hundreds, or thousands of people that we were connected with during our time working for his kingdom down here. On that day, he is not going to care about how many followers that we may have had. He's going to ask us if we use the talents that he gave us to gain followers for him. And if you're watching this, odds are that somebody is following you in some form or fashion. The amount of followers you have, whether they're many or few, that's not significant. All that will matter is did we choose to use our platform to shine the light towards him, or did we keep it hidden and safe in the dark? We all have followers. What are we leading them towards? Let's flip the switch today and pull our light out of the safety of the dock at home and shine it brightly in wherever that is that it can be used or seen. Your art, your songs, your poetry, your words, your deeds, and any other talent that you have received on whatever platform that you possess to shine his light in a world that needs it now more than ever.